Hi everyone, let's go through few important topics that we need to study for tree markers in part C. Similarly, we'll go through for part D and part E. I have also created one important uh, questions uh, video long back. It is there in the model question paper playlist and revision playlist. You can refer it for more details. Today we will focus on part C, part D and part E. But the earlier video has all the important repeated questions based on the previous question papers. So first key topic is binomial theorem. Finding middle term in binomial expansion, finding constant term, constant term or independent term is the same thing. Also there is another subtopic in binomial theorem uh, which is a focus area that is finding the coefficient of x in the binomial expansion. So this could be a probable three marker question. Folks all of these questions are for guidance only so that you can focus on key areas. I would recommend you to go through the entire chapter not just focusing on these key topics. Be thorough with all the chapters but maybe you can put extra attention or focus on these particular specific topics. Second one is mathematical logic. Proposition, given a proposition, we should be able to write the converse, inverse and contrapositive. Say the proposition could be, if the questions are easy, then maths is easy. Something like this, right? Then third topic is matrix and determinants. Focus on the Kramer's rule. Fourth one is partial fractions, resolving into partial fractions. Continuity. So this is another uh, important three marker. It could be anything, right? It could be any kind of function. You should be able to find k or or given two functions, you should prove that it is continuous. So these are key five topics to focus on for three markers. Friends, there are plenty of revision videos in the revision playlist. Almost uh, 12 to 13 chapters of revision have been covered. All the previous year's question paper related problems have been put in the revision videos as well. Multiple timestamps have been created for each of the revision video so that you can just jump into the particular subtopic that you're looking for without having to go through the entire video. For example, say you have binomial theorem. There are chapters created like this. You can open the binomial theorem video, click on the description box. You will see multiple timestamps. Click on those timestamps for any particular subtopic. Say for binomial theorem, you have uh, subtopics for general term, middle term, coefficient, constant term, decimal expansion. Just click on these timestamps given in the description box. It will take you to that particular subtopic. This is essentially so that you can save your time and quickly go through that particular revision. Please note that all of the questions that are put in each of those revision videos, many of them are coming from the previous question papers. So there are two benefits of these revision videos. One is you will be looking at all the question paper problems and at the same time also getting a revision of each of these subtopics. Let's go through part D for five markers. Again, again we have binomial theorem in part D. It can be either independent term, middle term or coefficient of x. Right? Focus on all of these subtopics. In mathematical logic, given a proposition, we should be able to tell if it's a tautology, contradiction or neither. Right? Or given two propositions, we will have to examine if it is logically equivalent or not. Linear programming problem, here the objective function and the constraints would be given. We should be able to plot the graph and uh, arrive at the max or min value based on the question. In learning effect, another 5 marker, easy one. So just uh, draw the table using the learning effect formulas and get the final labor cost. Application of direct integrals. This is another key topic, right? We have to find the area bounded between the curves. Basically, it can be either two, these are nothing but two parabolas. Either it can be between two parabolas or one parabola and a line, right? So finding the area between these curves using integration. So these are again five key topics for five markers. So under part E, we have six marker and four marker. Let's go through them. Again, in binomial theorem, we have decimal expansion. Let's uh, focus on that. Then circles, given four points, we have to show that the points are concyclic. Then matrix and determinants, solved by matrix method. This is one of the key topics. Then from limits and continuity chapter, we'll have to prove the limits theorem or this trigonometric theorem, which is limit theta tending to zero, sine theta by theta is equal to one and limit theta tending to zero, sin theta by theta is equal to one. So we'll have to study these two theorems. You have six questions in part E six markers and four markers, you have to attempt uh, 10 marks out of 30 marks that is given in party. I would suggest you prepare for 20 marks because we don't know how the questions are going to get shuffled, how the chapters are going to get shuffled. That's why it's better you prepare for 20 marks so that you can attempt for 10 marks. I hope the video was useful. Thanks for watching.